smell. Approximately 23% of Americans have varicose veins. Those are those ugly little lines. It can be faint and thin, or they can actually be pretty thick and bulging out. In our health cast today, we're going to take a look at a less invasive way to address the more severe cases. With a family history of varicose veins, 44-year-old Wellington Hernandez Cerrone wasn't too surprised when he began having problems with them seven years ago. I can tell you, I used to wake every morning and I feel my legs like it was weighing like 20 pounds. Vein specialist Dr. Susan Fox says varicose veins affect about 22 million women and 11 million men and tend to get worse as we age. It is very prevalent. It's almost equal men and women. Um, it's about 45% men versus 55% women. And personally, I just think that that's just men like noticing it less often. The biggest risk factors include genetics, hormonal changes like pregnancy, medical conditions such as venous insufficiency, and studies have also shown that people who spend long periods of time on their feet every day are also highly susceptible to varicose veins. Cases like Wellington's used to require invasive surgery under general anesthesia. High risks of nerve injuries and blood clots and a lot of problems. But recently the FDA approved a foam. It's called Verathena. It's injected right into the vein to close it down and seal it shut. It's a very easy procedure done in the office. It's done in a matter of minutes and people can go back to their normal lives. After a couple of weeks in compression hose, Wellington was pain and vein free. I feel really good. Good for him. The procedure is covered by most medical insurance. And for those without coverage, the out-of-pocket costs will range from about $700 to $1,200.